Hey everybody, Lady Prepper coming at you. It's that time of year, fall's in the air. Come on back and learn how to make some yummy pumpkin bread. Okay, you guys are ready to get started. I'm gonna tell you the backstory about this pumpkin bread. In 1983, my father came home from work with a little tin just like this, filled with pumpkin bread and a recipe attached to it. 1983. And Guys, I've been making this every year since. It is yummy, delicious. You can make it ahead, freeze it, which we'll talk about along the process, but your family and the children especially for some reason love this stuff. A little boy in my life came and asked his mother the day after Halloween if he missed Grandma Pam's pumpkin bread. So they look forward to it and they'll really enjoy it. The recipe is really simple. It's gonna be linked at the bottom, but I'll go over it here. What I've already put in the mixer here, and again, you don't have to use a stand mixer. You can use a hand mixer, whatever you have. Um, this is uh, three and a half cups of flour and three cups of sugar. So that's what's already in the pan. The other dry ingredients that we're gonna put in is gonna be two teaspoons of baking soda, one teaspoon of salt. Oh, get that in there. Didn't come out as quick as I thought it would. We got a teaspoon of nutmeg and a teaspoon of cinnamon. So we're just gonna stir that up. Kind of get it mixed in with the flour and the sugar. This is the easiest recipe you'll ever make. It's literally stir it up and pour it in the pan. While you're making this, you'd have your oven preheating at 350 degrees because that's how hot we're gonna cook it. So now we've got all of our dry ingredients in there. So now we're gonna put our wet ingredients in. Wet ingredients are pretty simple. You got one cup of cooking oil, just corn oil. Stir that just a little bit. Get that flour going. We've got one cup of water. And four eggs. Okay. So we're going to mix that up, get those eggs mixed in there really good. While that's stirring up, if you want to make multiples of these, you can like double or triple it up and put it in a big bowl. This is the one I use when I make like four batches at once and I use a hand mixer then because obviously it won't fit in there. But you can make six or eight of these at a time. They freeze beautifully. You can freeze them in November and give them as Christmas gifts. You just take them out of the freezer the day before you're going to go or a last minute hostess gift you might need if you're going to someone's house for brunch or something. Pull it out the night before, tie it up in some ribbons, you're good to go. So that's all the wet and dry ingredients are in there. The last thing to put in is the pumpkin and one can makes the two loaves. This is a two loaf recipe. So we get all the pumpkin in there. Use a spatula and get it all out of there. My son, uh, where he works, his co-workers start the beginning of December asking him when the pumpkin bread's arriving. We make the little tins for everybody he works for. There's one girl, whoop, Got a little bit on the table there. We got one girl that actually puts dibs on any leftovers. So everybody knows who's gonna get the leftovers when the holiday is over. Get that mixed up in there really good. And that's it. It is that simple to have everything ready to go in your pan. I think it takes more time to measure out the ingredients than it does to make it. Make this over here. I've got two pans here that I've sprayed with uh, spray oil, Pam. Okay, I'm just gonna use a spatula to make sure it's all in there good. Looks like I'm pretty much ready to roll. One more little spoon and we'll be good to go. Okay. I'll put this under here to catch the yuck. It's going to drip. So that's it, guys. What we're going to do is just pour this in evenly. We'll do about half and then go back and forth to make sure you get it mixed in evenly. Ooh, I can taste it already. House is going to smell like Thanksgiving here in about 20 minutes. <laughs> Let me get that spatula and get the rest out of there. Every last drop, it's good stuff. 
It's really great reheated up and with lots of butter on it. So hopefully you're salivating waiting to try it. Okay. That's it, you guys. It's ready to go in the oven. We're going to cook it and we will come back and show you the finished product. See you later. Hey, everybody. The bread's out of the oven. And like I promised, this house smells like Thanksgiving Day. We've got our nice brown pumpkin bread. It came out absolutely perfect. The recipe says to cook it at 350 for one hour, which I did. At that point, I stick a knife in to make sure it comes out clean, and it didn't. So I set the timer for five more minutes, and at that point, the knife came out clean and my bread was done. This can vary with ovens and altitudes and different things, but um, you just keep testing it, and once it comes out clean, you are good to go. So that's it. That's all there is to making wonderful pumpkin bread for Thanksgiving or any time of year. Um, I save it for the holidays because the kids and the family look forward to it but it's good all the time and it keeps well in the freezer so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give us a like and if you really would love to see some more videos subscribe and let us know if there's anything else that you'd like us to teach you and and learn together with so with that lady prepper is out this is literally the best thing i've ever eaten